There are times when I uh, do other things besides clean grease traps and grease interceptors. This week, last week, we had a company come out, Lowy's Landscaping, come out and replace a shore wall at our lake home. And this video that I put on YouTube is totally different, has nothing to do with cleaning grease traps. So I just thought it was pretty interesting running the machines. All you guys like to run your, your backhoes and your excavators and your and uh, doing different things and stuff. It's just pretty interesting how they went about uh, um, doing this job. So I put it all together, some pictures and uh, videos of everything and how they do it. So uh, interesting. Hope you uh, take some time to take a look at it. It'd be fun. Share it, like it, whatever you want to do. Um, thanks for watching. This video has nothing to do with cleaning grease interceptors and grease traps. We had a new shoreline wall put in our lake home in Wisconsin this last weekend. The company that we had was Lowy's Landscaping out of Dowsman, Wisconsin. They did an excellent job. This young man had some skills operating this excavator. He could just drag this back and clean it all up, put it in there exactly, clean that whole old rock, flat rock, stone, just garbage out of there, and just uh, cleaned up this whole area for us. It was amazing to watch the skill he had. Once he got all the old stone out of there, he just uh, scraped all the old plantings, garbage we had in there, just cleaned it all up. He had such a touch with the, that, it was just like his hand was out there scraping that back. It was just, I just was fascinated how great a job he did with the skill. He told me he's been running these, these uh, machines since he was about five years old.
you can see in these frames right here that uh, he had it all scraped and uh, was ready to start laying the first layers of rock. And it, it was pretty amazing how he cleaned it all up and then they started in on the right of the steps there and just worked across. This was the next morning and they were just getting started on the laying that first layer to the right of the steps. I've been out fishing and this is probably about seven o'clock in the morning when they were getting started. And I'd been out fishing for about an hour and I, and, uh, I saw her come and start working and uh, I wanted to see and hear what they were doing, see how they actually laid that um, black tarp, I suppose you'd call it, uh, the wheat barrier and everything, but it's pretty interesting. They were just getting started here and you'll see how they uh, use that black tarp on the first put it down in the water first and put the first layer of rock on top of it. Then they fold it over, put a big three inch white rock behind each layer of rock so it really makes it strong. You know, no weeds are gonna come up through that. They just know what they're doing. They've done this experience of seeing the next frame we steel folders of those guys working and stuff and how that black rock is draped over the, the layer they just done. Excavator operator just put them right where they're supposed to be, just like he's picking it up with his fingers. It's amazing to me to watch.
as you can see in this, once I get the camera straight, they put that black tarp down in the water on the down in the water on the on the, there's a sandy beach there basically and he dug it out so it's kind of flat there and then he starts putting in these big boulders and watch him uh, the guy motions to uh, tamp that big rock down if you see it and hear it he's gonna tamp it and he goes that's good and he sees that all with his sight of his eye and the experience he's had doing this it's just amazing to me um, so that though this first layer that's going in the lake is setting on top a layer of, of uh, this weed guard or tarp I, got, I guess I call it and um, it's just amazing to me to watch this whole process, and then they come in and dump in this white rock behind each layer, and flat, and they level it off. And it's just unbelievable strong wall. I don't think it'll ever move, and it's just uh, it's amazing how they've got it all figured out, and they do just an excellent job. Of course, scooping this, shoving this white rock around is kind of hard and everything. So, but they know exactly what they're doing. They get it leveled out. That is actually the second layer that's covered up with uh, the weed guard, that black tarp. And then once they get that all leveled out, they fold it back and then come in with another layer of rock. they're doing here is putting in um, backfill of the of the and filling it up and the landscape the wall and um, so we can seed this down and uh, it's amazing they brought in a lot of dirt and uh, they fill it in and they just they just did an excellent job and, Leveled that all out. Perfect. I gotta tell my son Ben that we need one of these. <laughs> This is the finished wall. They laid um, straw all over the, uh, they seeded it all down and then they rolled out a roll of straw and had a bale of straw they spread out on them. And they just landscaped the whole yard if they tore it up a little bit. Um, they brought in that backfill and leveled off the yard. And now what I'm doing is watering uh, the whole yard there basically and, and the wall I mean it looks pretty neat with the all the big stones getting washed off this is before the old flat stone we had in there that was to the right of the dock and is just garbage and then here's the finished rock this is to the right of the dock this is again watering the whole thing down you know, all that and reach the whole yard basically and i have a transfer pump set in there and 
pumping the water right out of the lake. Little electric motor and it just works great. I'm gonna adjust that the path it takes and how far it 